How can I help you? I have five NSYNC dolls and a signed picture by the entire band. We have uh, Joey Fatone, Lance Bass, uh, JC, Chris Kirkpatrick, and Justin Timberlake. All the ladies want them and all the guys want to be them. One of my favorites. Well, you're tearing up my heart with these. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you looking for these? I'm looking for $500. Okay, um, I don't know the value of these, honestly, so it might not be out of the realm of possibilities. I'd like to have someone come down, take a look at these, and put a value on them before I make you an offer. Okay. All right, give me a few minutes. I'm gonna call my guy down here, and hopefully you can get here quick. Okay, thank you. I got quite the collection for you to look at today. These are cool. The NSYNC toys were, for the time period and the culture, like, really, really big. And the reason they were so big is this band, obviously, when they blew up, they took off like wildfire. You want to talk about a great marketing campaign with the song, It's Gotta Be Me? They filmed that song as the marionettes. So they were dressed in the makeup to look like the dolls. You saw them come to life on your screen, and then you turn around, you go to the toy store, and there's the marionettes available for you to purchase. And immediately, you saw this toy line, when it hit the shelves, disappear. So the boxes look like they're a little rough. It's pretty common for these boxes to be in this type of condition. Um, I also noticed that this one looks like it's got some writing on it. That could be an autograph. I don't authenticate autographs for you, so that's not something that, uh, that I can tell you that is for fact, you know, um, Joey's autograph or not. So what do you think everything's worth? So I've seen the Justin go, you know, 35 to 40 bucks by itself. Uh, the other figures go anywhere from, you know, 10 to $15 each. That's what we paid for them originally. Yeah, in some cases with some of these toys, when they're mass produced, they don't necessarily gain or sometimes lose value. And we see this trend, especially in the 90s and early 2000s toys. So as a set, I would expect you'd be able to get $90 for them. However, you have a picture down here, and it looks like it's signed by the entire band. I think you should get the autographs authenticated. Because if you do that, that could really be your value here, the fact that you have all the autographs with it. You know, I've seen Justin's autograph go as high as $200 because of how desirable his is. Okay. But as far as the toys are concerned, as they sit, I would expect that you'd be able to get 90 bucks for the dolls themselves. Okay. Thanks for coming out. No problem, thanks. You know what? I actually know someone that can authenticate these signatures. Do you mind if I make one more call? Okay. I'll be right back. Hey, hey what's going on, John? What's going on, brother? Thanks for coming out. <laughs> How's it going? Hi. Doing all right? Very nice to okay. meet you. Chum called me up. I uh, wanted to see if I could verify some signatures. Of course, being with NSYNC as a group for well over 10 years, in a sense, you know, you tend to know each other's signatures and seeing them because we're signing thousands of them. Like, you know, meet and greets will come up. And we'll sign a bunch of pictures. So, of course, you get to know all the signatures. You can't get away from my chicken scratch. And all the other guys do. It's like staring in a mirror. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anatomically correct, too, by the way. Uh, wow, this is pretty crazy. And you got all of them. She all has five. the whole set. Bringing back some old memories here. Yeah, you know, man, it's amazing. You know, with the No Strings Attached album, we broke records. We sold 1.2 million albums in the first day, and yeah. we sold 2.4 million albums in the first week, yeah. which was never done before, and they were tangible albums. Yeah, it's a lot different now with digital streams. Yeah, that, exactly. Yeah. So take a look at these and tell me what you think. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That you signed twice, so. Yeah, you know what, sometimes we, we did things like that because some people would want it, I don't know why, they would want it in the front and then they'd want something in the back. It was the weirdest thing, I never understood that. But yeah, no, that's definitely my signature. Usually I would write like sometimes like, stay sweet or peace and love and stuff like that, which obviously there it is. I wrote peace and love on the back of it. So yeah, that's definitely my, uh, my signature on there. Cool. And then this picture, wow, holy cow. Yeah, we were really young. And that's, that's Chris with his pineapple hair, I like to call it. <laughs> and uh, Justin had his ramen noodle head. <laughs> and the signatures, yeah, I mean, they look, they, they are pretty legit. JC usually, he'll write his name and he'll put the JC on there. Lance usually has two double squiggly lines, which is right around there when he writes Lance. That is definitely my sloppy signature right there. Chris was always had the signature where it was like a CH and an I always. You never saw the rest of it. And of course, Kirkpatrick looked all crappy, but Justin's, Obviously, he always had the J, and he always crossed his T with his actual letter and his name, which was pretty cool. So you can verify your signatures for sure? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely real, so good job. 
Brings back a lot of memories. Crazy. Well, I appreciate you coming by. No problem. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Very nice Thank to meet you. Thank you. So nice to meet you. My pleasure. Nice to meet you guys. Have a good one. All right. So there you go. Straight from Joey himself. The autographs are real. My toy guy says the toys are nice. They go for about ninety dollars. Uh, as a group, I, I could give you one fifty. One fifty. Oh, but Justin's signature alone is worth two hundred. I mean, I need to make a little bit of profit. Um, could you do one seventy-five? Man, would you consider two hundred? Um. Yeah, I think I could do 200 on them. OK. All right, let's go write it up. I ended up selling my collection for $200, but I got to meet Joey Fatone and discuss the signatures of the band. So it was well worth it.